now let us discuss about the differences between tcp and udp tcp stands for transmission control protocol whereas udp stands for user datagram protocol second difference tcp is a connection oriented protocol so first a connection will be established between the sender and the receiver after establishing the connection only the data will be transferred in order to establish the connection tcp uses a three way handshake procedure in tcp the data will be represented in the form of segments so here tcp uses three segments so first the client will sends sin request to the server so that sin specifies that client wants to establish a connection with the server let the server is also ready to establish the connection with the client then the server will also sends sin request so sin stands for synchronization so after that client will provides the acknowledgement so totally here we have three segments so that's why we can say that tcp is a connection oriented protocol so first connection will be established and after that data will be transferred once the transferring of data is over then the connection will be terminated whereas udp is a connection less protocol here there is no connection between the client and the server the sender and the receiver next to difference tcp is a reliable protocol tcp will give guarantee to the sender that the data which is sent by the sender will be will be will be delivered correctly by the receiver so tcp will gives the guarantee about the corresponding packets about the segments delivery for that it will use acknowledgements so let we have sender and the receiver so sender is sending a segment to the receiver so receiver will provides acknowledgement to the sender after receiving the segment so let the let a segment is lost during the transmission then the sender won't get any acknowledgement so the sender will retransmits the same segment once again here every segment will have a sequence number let the sender is sending three segments where the segment sequence numbers are 1 2 3 so at the receiver also receiver receives the segments in the correct order in which they were sent by the sender why because we have sequence number for each segment so we can say that tcp is reliable protocol tcp is giving some guarantee to the sender that the segments will be arrived at the receiver very very guarantee next whereas udp is unreliable protocol here what will happen is sender sends the data but sender doesn't bother about that whether the receiver receives the data correctly or whether the data lost during the transmission receiver don't bother about that here the sender i'm sorry sender doesn't bother about that here the sender responsibility is sending the segment it doesn't bother about that whether that segment is correctly uh, arrived at the receiver or not so we can say that udp is unreliable protocol so next point tcp will ensures the guarantee delivery so the segments which are sent by the sender so will be arrived at the receiver correctly it will gives the guarantee whereas if you take udp there is no guarantee about the delivery next we know that tcp uses three way handshake procedure it uses totally three segments for establishing the connection or for terminating the connection also 
whereas in UDP we don't have any handshake procedures. So there is no need of any connection between the sender and the receiver. If, uh, if the sender knows that receiver port number, then with the help of the port number, directly the sender can sense the segment. Next, here there is more overhead. In TCP, there is more overhead. Why? Because here a connection has to be established and it should ens ensures the reliability. So it has to maintain acknowledgements, sequence uh, acknowledgements, sequence numbers, and if the segment is lost, then that segment has to be retransmitted one more time. So we can say that there is more overhead in TCP, whereas here less overhead. Why? Because here we don't have any acknowledgements, we don't have any sequence numbers, next to no retransmission. It doesn't bother about that whether those segments are correctly arrived at the receiver or not. So there is no, there is less overhead here. Next, TCP provides flow control. We know about flow control. Let the sender is sending data at a faster rate, whereas the receiver is consuming that data at a slower rate. So then what will happen? Some, some packets may be lost. Some segments may be lost. Why? Because sender is sending segments at a very faster rate, whereas receiver is consuming the data at a very slower rate then there may be a possibility that some of the segments may be lost. So for that TCP has so many flow control mechanisms. Whereas in UDP, there is no flow control mechanism. So sender can sense data at a very very faster rate. But if the receiver capacity is very very slow, then, 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 uh, then, then some segments may be lost. Okay? So here there is no flow control mechanism. So next difference is TCP is best suitable for email, file sharing, downloading some data or some browsing. So for these applications TCP is more suitable. So TCP is more suitable when we want to maintain reliability. Whereas UDP is most suitable for audio video streaming. So that means here if you take a video streaming, if one pixel in the frame is missing, then there is no problem. Okay, so we can say that UDP is more suitable for video streaming or audio streaming where the speed is more important to the user. If some, if some pixels are missing in the frame, then there is no problem. Okay, whereas here if some data is missing, in the email, then what will happen? It is a very, very big problem. If some data is missing in file sharing, so it is very, very big problem. Okay. So we can say that here it is suitable for uh, these applications when reliability is very, very important. Whereas here speed is important for audio streaming, video streaming, speed is important. If the data is lost, then there is no problem. Whereas the last point is TCP is very, very slower when compared with UDP, whereas UDP is extremely faster than TCP. Why? Because what is UDP? It is a connectionless protocol. Here the speed is very, very important. So for audio, video streaming, we mainly we use uh, UDP. So we can say that UDP is very, very faster. Why? Because here we don't have any acknowledgements. We don't have any sequence numbers. We don't have any retransmissions. Whereas uh, TCP is more important for reliable applications. So this is about uh, the differences between uh, TCP and UDP.